Okay, um, today I'm going to show you how to make an iPod commercial on, um, yeah, make an iPod commercial. What you're going to need is, obviously, a video camera or a built-in webcam that you can record from, some sort of recording software. So, um, you're also going to need editing software that has, um, chroma keying in it, and so... Programs like Final Cut, um, Sony Vegas, and Adobe After Effects will work. I'm not sure about any other ones. Those are just the really popular ones. And then, um, I'm just letting you know that if you have iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, stop watching this video because it's not going to work. Get a new program. Okay, so you're also going to need a green screen or a blue screen. Um, if you do not have one of those, just like a solid color wall, make sure you're not wearing the color clothing that's in back of you. And you're going to need some footage of you going crazy. Open up your video editing software. I'm using Final Cut Express. Anything that has Chroma King will work again. Okay, so import your video of you going crazy. For me, I'm just going to use a picture. You're going to want a movie. I just don't, I accidentally deleted the other one and can't get it back. So, I am using a picture. Just need to find it. Should be a few more down. There we go. Okay, so once you have your picture, drag it into your timeline. Just like that. Go to your video effects. It's probably under filters. And go to your chroma keyer, which might be under key. Go to your chroma keyer visual, which looks like this. And then select the color of your green screen by moving the sliders. And what I'm trying to do right now is get my whole green screen completely black. So, sometimes this takes a while depending on like if you have any shadows or if you don't have proper lighting. Um, and if you do not have a green screen, all you need to do is get like a really big piece of fabric. That's good enough for now. Uh, what I have. Um... Just letting you know, I'm just using a huge, um, like, what is it, three by, I don't even know, like, three yard piece of, um, three by two, I think, yard piece of felt. So, and it's, like, pinned to my wall. Okay, so, in this window, it should show up red. Now, on your timeline, drag it up to the top layer so that you have a layer underneath. Now, go in and go to your effects again and try to find your, um, your color corrector and open that up in your window. Again, you want it to be the visual settings like this. All these sliders down here, drag them all the way to the end um, to make them black yourself black you will find that like after two you're completely black you still need to drag all of them now go to your files again and you're gonna need a color background just a solid color and I'm gonna let's, let's see you can just go on Google and at them, but where is mine? I sorry, one second. <sighs> sorry about this. Should be under downloads. No, library picture. Yeah, uh, so. Now, I'm just going to use 
Sorry, I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to use a regular picture. It'll still work the same. You can do this too if you don't like what you have, but the color to me looks better. I'm going to take a picture like this. Oh, sorry. Just take your picture. Um, what's that? Okay, I'll take a picture of that. And just drag it right underneath onto the bottom layer. And you'll see that will create a black image of yourself. Now, um, you can also make the background image bigger so that you don't have those black little strips in the back. And then there you go. There's your iPod commercial. Um, sorry that mine has to be a picture in the back, but normally it would be a color background. So, um, that concludes this video. Thank you.